Hi, my name is Jake. Welcome to Canadian Cutting Edge University Practical Skills Lecture, How to Fix Early Lockup on either a frame lock knife or a liner lock knife. The procedure is exactly the same. Uh, just to be clear, this knife is the Revo Berserk, uh, Berserk, I should say, and uh, it came initially with early lockup and uh, I got a replacement very quickly, so there's no problem with that. You know, the store dealt with me very well, and the uh, manufacturer dealt with me very well as well. And um, it's an American company, and uh, the knife was made in China, but it's an American-owned company. And I want to show you how to, uh, if you've got a knife that's got so early lockup that, you know, while you're using it, especially a frame lock knife is more dangerous, because you can eas more easily move the frame lock arm over a little bit to make it so that the knife blade will start to close on you uh, than it is on a liner lock knife. But either way, if you want to make the lock up a little greater engagement instead of being so very early, uh, and I'll show you on the tabletop what I mean by early lock up, uh, how do you fix that? It's not that hard. If you can take the knife apart and you've got a file of any sort, you can fix it. And I'm going to show you how right now. Stay tuned. So to be very clear, what is early lockup? What does it look like? It's when the frame lock arm or the liner lock arm is not sufficiently engaging the tang of the blade. So this black edge here with the two silver corners, that's the tang of the blade. And the lock arm is here. That's what engages with the tang of the blade. And uh, this one's locked up is sufficient. And how do you make it so it goes over early? It's very simple. This is the one that's early and I've taken it apart. You can see just a little bit of silver on that corner right there. And all I have to do is file that just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. The biggest danger of this is uh, if you file that down too much, then you're going to get late lockup. So I've just got a 320 grit stone here. And uh, I stand this up straight up and down. I know you can hardly see it, but let's imagine that straight up and down. And I'm just going to file across that corner one time with the 320 grit stone. So here we go. Whoops, I fell off. And that's it. Well, maybe that's not quite enough. I'll do it twice. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it back together. I know this is laborious and painstaking. I'm going to put it back together and test it. I'm not going to show you the time that it takes to put it back together. I'll just show you what the lockup's like now. Okay, it's back together and I opened it up and let's focus here. There you go, lockup is still too early. So I'm gonna do it again. And uh, now that I know how little of a difference it made, I'm gonna do a little bit more filing. And what I'm filing is I'm trying to get that corner right there filed down because that's the corner that uh, it showed was contacting the blade first. If you've got a black coating on your blade, on your uh, liner lock, you can easily see where it is. Otherwise, you have to look very closely and you'll be able to see the little bit of wear on the spot. It'll look different than the rest of that flat surface. You'll be able to see which spot is contacting so you know which spot you need to remove a little bit of the steel from. There we go. I think that's enough to test it again. So Let's put her back together one more time here. Uh, lockup still isn't early enough uh, or late enough, but there's still more to file to get it to where I want it. Let's keep doing it. It's much better to uh, file too little than too much because you can't put steel back on easily, not without welding or something, but uh, you can take more off. It just takes a little more time.
got some more. Let's try it again. Just keep swinging. Just keep swinging until you get a home run. Play the alignment's good. That's good. Okay, let's see. Wow. Not bad. It's getting better. Let's use a more forceful opening. There you go. That's getting quite good with a very forceful opening. And how do you do that? Uh, well, you uh, take a knife, you partially open it, and you just whip it open like that. Just, I did a flick of the wrist, and that forces it to go harder. And that's another way to finish it off, to sort of polish those two surfaces using the same two surfaces that you have, the blade and the frame lock arm or liner lock arm. That's one of the best ways to get it to mate very well and get it to uh, get good surface. So I'll do that a few times and then we'll see how well it works just from a regular flick. You'll have to wait off camera. There we go. All I did was uh, flick it open 10 times that way and now when I open the knife, lockup is almost exactly where the other knife is. And so as you can see, they're both very much the same, but uh, this one, I've got one of the body screws still missing. I did that on purpose so I wouldn't get them mixed up. Uh, this is the one that's going to be in the giveaway. So thanks for watching this little how-to video. Hopefully it answered your questions. If you still have more questions, leave them down in the comment section below. Um, and uh, you can also email me at canadiancuttingedge at gmail.com and I'll try very hard to answer your questions. Thanks for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. And a huge thank you and shout out to my Patreon supporters. You guys are awesome. And uh, remember, friends, cut towards your chum. Not your thumb. Bye for now.